This is a video to show how to normalize floating point binary numbers, and we'll be looking at both positive and negative numbers. So I'm going to answer this question. This question uses an 8-bit Mantessa and a 4-bit exponent. Remember, when using floating point numbers, you will also be using 2's complement, where the most significant bit is a negative value. We are going to normalize this number. First of all, there are two normalization rules that we need to know. First of all, a positive floating point number is normalized when it starts 0, 1. And a negative floating point number is normalized when it starts with 1, 0. So I'm going to write out my mantissa, my 8-bit mantissa, and I'm going to look at the most significant bit, which is the bit on the far left-hand side. Because this is a 0, that tells me is a positive number. Therefore, I need to edit this mantissa until it starts with 0, 1, instead of currently 0, 0, 0, 1. So I put in a decimal point, and I need to move this decimal point until it's between a 0 and a 1. So I move it one space, two spaces, and it's now in the correct position. I'm just going to make a note that I've had to move it twice. I can remove the decimal points, and I can remove the leading zeros. And now I have my mantissa almost ready, but I've just had to remove two values. And it clearly says in the question that it is an 8-bit mantissa. Because I've had to remove two values, I have to add two values onto the right-hand side of the number, and they will always be zero, regardless of if it's a positive or a negative number. So my mantissa is now normalized, but because I've had to make some changes to the mantissa, I also need to make some changes to the exponent. The current value of my exponent is 7, 4 plus 2 plus 1. Remember, because this uses 2's complement, the most significant bit in the exponent is going to be a negative value, which in this instance is minus 8, but we don't need to worry about that. I've had to move my mantissa two spaces to the right. Because I've had to move it two spaces, I now need to decrease the exponent by 2. So I need to take away 2 from a 7 to give me 5. So my exponent now is 5. And my mantissa and exponent are now normalized, and I can neatly write them out. I'm going to do another example now um, with the new number, which is in the top left, still using an 8-bit mantissa and a 4-bit exponent. Let's just take a quick look at the normalization rules again. A positive floating point number needs to start with 0, 1 to be normalized, and a negative floating point number needs to start with 1, 0 to be normalized. I'm going to write out my mantissa. And I'm going to look at the most significant bit. The most significant bit tells me that this is a negative number. Therefore, to normalize this number, I need it to start with 1, 0. So I put in my decimal point, and I need to move it along until it is between a 1 and a 0. So I need to move it once, twice, three times. I'm going to make a note where I've had to move it three times. I can remove the dots, and I can remove the leading zeros. And this is the start of my mantissa. Because I've had to remove three values from the front of mantissa, I need to add three values to the right. And these are always going to be zeros. So my mantissa is now ready, but my exponent is not. I've had to move the decimal point of mantissa by three spaces, so I need to remove three from my exponent. The current value of my exponent is four, and I take away three from that to give me one. So my exponent is one. I'm going to neatly write this out, and that is the answer to this question. And this is how you normalize a positive and a negative 